Hello guys, this is Wits Lounge, learning made easy. And in today's video, we're going to be understanding the formulas to find solubility in gram per dm cube and gram per 100 gram. We'll now simply consider two more units of solubility, and that will be that for this video. Now, the next unit of solubility we are going to be considering is solubility in gram per dm cube. Now, just as we had solubility in mole per dm cube and different scenarios, this same thing also applies here. But in this case, we have fewer formulas. Now, solubility in gram per dm cube can simply be expressed as maximum mass of solute in gram divided by volume of solvent in dm cube. So what this simply means is, if you have, for instance, that your solute is given in mass in gram and solvent is given in volume in dm cube, this is quite simple. Solubility in gram per dm cube will be simply expressed as mass of solute in gram divided by volume of solvent in dm cube. Let's try a question to help us understand this. What is the solubility of sodium nitrate in gram per dm cube? If 2 grams of sodium nitrate was dissolved in 0 0.5 dm cube of water at 25 degrees Celsius. So let's get to solve. Now, in this question, you will notice something very peculiar that we are asked to find solubility in gram per dm cube. And please, the general thing about solubility is look at the unit on top. Once it's gram, it means that your solute has to be gram. If the one below is dm, it means that your solvent has to be in dm. Now, in this question, our solute was in gram. Our solute was expressed as mass in gram. Ah, Jesus. Our solute was equals 2 grams of NaNO3, while our solvent was equals 0 0.5 dm cube of water so to solve this solubility in gram per dm cube as we saw earlier on will now be the mass of solute in gram simply divided by the volume in dm cube so notice something the formulas used are simply generated by the unit gram per dm cube means solute mass uh, solvent dm cube so this is quite simple to simply be two grams divided by 0 0.5 dm cube and what do we have here 4 gram per dm cube so that's that basically about the solubility in gram per dm cube okay now if you had that the solubility in gram per dm cube is expected but in this case your solute is in mass in gram and your solvent is in volume in cm cube you know this is simply going to be expressed as mass in gram of solute divided by volume in cm cube multiplied by 1000 over 1 so have that in mind that if solute is in gram and solvent is in cm cube you simply do mass over volume in cm cube but then times 1000 over 1 now this formula is used under what condition if the solute is in mass and the solvent is in volume in cm cube and that's that basically now we'll get into the final popular unit of solubility and that final unit is gram per 100 gram now solubility can also be expressed in a unit known as gram per 100 gram now this particular unit is quite simple and it's easy to understand solubility in gram per 100 gram is simply expressed by the mathematical expression mass of solute divided by mass of solvent multiplied by 100 over 1 so in this case we are dealing with both mass of solute and mass of solvents now i would just like to mention a few things the first thing i'd like to mention is that um one cm cube of solvent is equivalent not equal but equivalent to one gram of solvent so if in a question you have 
10 cm cube it means that it's equivalent to 10 gram so sometimes they won't give you the gram equivalent of the solvent but then just have this in mind that in solving solubility questions one cm cube of the solvent is equivalent to one gram of the solvent so let's try out the question to help us understand this so what is the solubility in gram per 100 gram given that 40 gram of sodium chloride was dissolved in 50 cm cube of water at 25 degrees celsius so let's get to solve now if you look at the question they said find the solubility solution we're asked to find the solubility in gram per 100 gram so let's get to work solubility in gram per 100 gram is mathematically expressed as mass in gram of solute divided by mass in gram of solvent multiplied by 100 over 1 so let's get to work the mass of solute is equals 40 grams of NaCl the mass of solvent was not given what we are given was volume of solvent so the volume of solvent is equals 50 cm cube now mind you we said that one cm cube is equivalent to one gram when you're solving solubility questions one cm cube is equivalent not equals equivalent to one gram so which means that this 50 cm cube would now be equivalent to 50 grams of water so have that in mind quite simple right so to solve solubility in gram per 100 gram will now be given as the mass of the solute is 40 gram divided by the mass of the solvent of which is water is 50 gram I told you cm cube is equivalent to gram when solving solubility so which means if you have one cm cube equivalent to one gram it means that 50 cm cube is equivalent to 50 gram so that's why we're using this so multiplied by 100 over 1 and when you do this this is simply going to be equals 80 gram per 100 gram the other way of solving this is quite simple if for instance you say that 2 gram is contained in 100 how many should be contained in 50 you will notice that it's 1 in 50 so you can use that expression to either solve it or simply use this mathematical expression so the ability in gram per 100 gram is equals mass in gram of solute divided by mass in gram of solvents times 100 over 1 i hope this video has actually been helpful remember this is with learning made easy